Hi everyone, welcome to Telium's MarTech Challenge Series. Today we'll be discussing activating data via Telium's REST API. My name is Jim Hartley. I'm the manager of the digital strategy team here at Telium. Very excited to present this to you today. This is a very powerful function of Telium's Universal Data Hub, allowing you to ingest data from all of your uh, disparate data sources within your organization. Welcome your feedback as well as any other challenges that you'd like to present. Specifically today, we'll be talking about activating IVR activity for analytics and CRM uh, via the API. For those of you who don't know what an IVR system is, it is the automated system that we reach when we call our credit card company or our mobile phone company. Uh, it basically does an automated triage, if you will, collecting information about you before you get transferred to a customer service representative. For this example, while we're concentrating on the IVR activity, it's important to note that we can ingest data from any of your data sources uh, in real time. So your call center, your point of sale systems, your CRM information, anything that you need unified and made actionable can be done so through the REST API into our universal data hub. And then we can uh, build those real-time qualifications and then trigger those visitors out to all the different uh, vendors for cross-channel marketing. The solution will consist of a few different parts. Um, the first thing would be to essentially configure your software solution to trigger the Telium API. This could be a webhook within your vendor or a little bit of custom coding. We'll show you examples of those. You need to configure the universal data hub. So we need to configure the attributes and create all the different data points that we're collecting from the vendor, as well as configure the connectors that we'll be activating within the universal data hub. In this example, Google Analytics and Salesforce. You also need for this example, a custom object in Salesforce. Um, we'll be building one and, and, and using that for uh, capturing all the web activity and the custom fields from the, the user's automated call and as well as configuring the Google Analytics custom dimensions and metrics for consumption and analysis within Google. This will be the basic workflow for this example. We'll be demonstrating a user who lands on a page from an email, and then Telium will take that behavior, pass it off to the IVR system via our tag management solution. And then while the call is happening while the clickstream behavior is occurring, we'll be building our own visitor profile within the Universal Data Hub. Um, when the call is initiated and or completed, right before being passed off to the customer service representative, the IVR system will respond to the Universal Data Hub. The Universal Data Hub will unify that call activity with the clickstream behavior and then activate that visitor via our audiences in real time into Google and Salesforce. Okay. Let's see this in action. Okay, as I had mentioned, um, the solution will require you to trigger the REST API via your IVR vendor. Um, this can be via a webhook that they might have, but here on the community, we have some code examples of how you could do this uh, programmatically. Okay, um, feel free to leverage the community articles. Um, you can also reach out to your account or deployment manager to get an engineer to help you along with that piece of it to get the integration working. You'll see here that I also have my visitor attributes created. Okay, so these are the custom attributes uh, that we are able to create to receive and translate the information that um, your IVR system is sending to us. Okay. And we have our connectors configured. Again, for this example, we have Google Analytics and Salesforce. Um, just also want to point out that the essence of the Universal Data Hub is the unification and the cross-channel uh, activation, right? So we're only using two of these connectors in this example, um, but you could trigger on-site personalization, email, display ads, any of these other um, real-time APIs are, are, are here for you to leverage, right? Okay, so going into our connector examples, we're passing via the Google measurement protocol, just the standard analytics event, so we're passing things, um, you know, the, the UTAG uh, visitor ID, the Telium visitor ID, um, and then event action and category for IVR and the fact that a call was initiated. And then we're also leveraging our very powerful Salesforce um, integration, 
Okay. Um, on this topic, I would I would definitely recommend that you watch Chris Slovak's video on the bidirectional communication API that we have with Salesforce. Um, not only can we pass data into Salesforce, we can also receive it in real time. Okay, in this example, uh, we're using the insert into custom object. We have a number of outgoing API calls that we can make. And you'll see here that not only am I passing the call activity, I'm also passing information about the visitor. So the visitor lifetime visit count, the visit duration. Um, this list can go on, category affinities, products purchase, things like this um, that can just further enhance the information the customer service representative has about the visitor to personalize their conversation and the, um, the prospecting, if you will. Okay, within Salesforce, I have my custom object. Okay, so I have a custom object that has a, a, a relationship with the contact object. Here you'll see I have all of my data points that we pointed out in audience stream, um, the date, the status, contact ID, the last event URL, etc. Okay, so um, I also like to point out that all of this configuration took me a, a total of 30 minutes. OK, so if you have questions about, you know, how long is this going to take? What do I need to do within Salesforce? Um, you know, we're obviously showing you here, but again, reach out to your account manager. Uh, they'll get a digital strategist assigned or an engineer assigned to help you through this process and give you an idea of what the effort might be. OK, so let's see this in action. So I'm on my test website here. I'm demonstrating that I just click through from a URL. I'm going to dial this number. OK. And for this example, I'll just dial and then I'll just hang up. You have reached Telium. Okay. So now what we're going to see here is in the Telium live events, we're going to see a real-time event occurring for the web hit. Okay. So this is my landing page this is all the information we're collecting on the the data layer right within the website then i'm also going to see this ivr hit okay so this is the information specific to the call the call status the event name channel all these different things okay so now going into google analytics we'll see that i have just had a live visitor event okay and then within the events tab you'll see that i have an ivr initiated um, and a category of IVR. This is all happening in real time via the measurement protocol. Okay. Then within Salesforce, I have my IVR activities object. I run a few other tests today, so you'll see that I have a few entries here. Okay. Most importantly, at the contact level, when I click through to Mr. Page here, you'll see that I have his IVR activities associated directly to him. Okay. So if I click through to the actual activity, I have all the custom data points, the date of the call, the call duration, the visit count. I also have the Telium ID. Um, I'd like to touch on this for a second. Uh, you know, any ID that we have associated with the visitor can be passed. Um, the more unique identifiers, the better. And, and the reason I say that is simply because um, the more information you have to communicate back to Telium as far as the visitor ID is uh, concerned, um, as well as porting this information out of Salesforce and into other vendors, um, it just it just it just lends itself to to more ways to communicate with the visitor via our visitor key ring. If you have more questions about how that works, again, uh, post a question to the Martech Challenge um, and or reach out to your account or deployment manager. Okay, so that's really the nuts and bolts of the solution. Um, have all happening in real time, um, and now we're going to move into some other uh, quick notes on other use cases that you could leverage. Okay, other use cases, I had, as I had mentioned um, while we were in the UDH UI, uh, on-site personalization, an example would be understanding that a person had just called, knowing what they did call about, right? what was the purpose of their call, reinforcing um, some support messaging around them, marketing automation, email, um, sending a personalized email even after the call was completed, right? just a real-time email saying, thank you for your call, um, optimizing your ad spend. Right? How easy is it for you typically to get your call information or your, your IVR activity um, and CRM activity and POS activity out to your uh, display ads and search ads and social ads? It's very difficult, right? By using Telium as your, um, your universal data stream for those, those disparate data sources, um, you, can, you can 
greatly enhance and optimize your ad spend. Um, and finally, Telium's data access platform. So if you have questions about this, again, reach out to your AM, DM, reach out to your sales uh, executive. Um, this is where we allow you to consume all that information outside of something like Google Analytics so that you can pass it off to your BI team to merge it with your other data sets um, stored on Amazon S3, Redshift, Kinesis, and the Google Cloud, wherever you want us to put it. Um, we, can, we can unify all this, and we do unify all this information, um, and we make it consumable for you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, appreciate you taking the time to view this challenge. Um, I welcome you to uh, submit additional challenges and problems that you need solved. Uh, we will get a, a solutions consultant or a digital strategist to post another video here or reach out to you directly. Um, thank you for your time and have a good day.